Well, hello, boys and girls. I'm Pearl Oism, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom. And today, I'm going to talk about the topic of tanking in the NHL. Uh, and I, I really good article on The Athletic by Pierre Lebron. I want to check it out. And I want to look at how Armstrong, Bill Armstrong, has done something I think most general managers don't do. And I'd also like to hear what you, gotta th- what you guys think about tanking, uh, sh- what the league should do about it, or if anything at all. Um, do, is there ways to take it out of the game? Put me in the com- Put it in the comment section if you have any ideas. They tried it with this draft lottery. It doesn't seem to be working. And now I think the new way they do it is going to make it less because um, there's even less chance that more teams, that teams that didn't or barely made the playoffs are going to get the number one. So it looks like they're going to keep on doing it anyways. NHL Pearl's a Pearl of Wisdom show. Come see it 3 to 5 Eastern week. Days. Come enjoy the frolic. It's lots of fun. We do a lot of this. And uh, st- this is all part of the Steel Flyers All Sports Network. Um, the, if you like the four major sports and all things to do with those four major sports, you'll like Steel Flyers All Sports Network. So we're going to look at what, how Armstrong is approaching this. And by the way, I really enjoy like the way they're approaching it. There has been lots of talk about how, you know, you can't, it's can, tanking is no guarantee. People say that all the time. There's been look at Edmonton was like 10 years. Detroit's been a long time. Buffalo didn't look like it worked at all. So we're going to look at the reasons why that might have been. And one of those reasons I think lies in this article. So let's take a look at it right now. Okay, we got Pierre Lebrun, Coyotes GM, Bill Armstrong on why they went scorched earth look at this title right off the get-go and the long road ahead coyotes uh they did the they did this interview with bill armstrong he would have had to okay this title like he's flat out going we're that's what we're doing we're doing scorched earth he may not say it in so many words but i positive he wouldn't okay this article if he didn't want that to be said that way i believe so, and we'll look at the rest of this and we'll see why I think this could be a very successful rebuild for the Arizona Coyotes. Uh, the Coyotes are 32nd in the NHL because 33rd isn't available. You can't sugarcoat a 213 in one record. No, you cannot. The organization's woes in the ice are mitigated behind the scenes by the knowledge that a plan is in motion. So, the organization's woes are mitigated and lessened by this idea that a plan is in motion. There are better days ahead. It's easy to look at the standings, Armstrong says in the interview, and say the Coyotes, they suck. Well, yeah, it's pretty really easy to watch the Coyotes and say that, although they have been getting better as of late. Uh, You know that there is a process here. We really deliberated hard as an organization about where we were going. I, I, I'm sure he talked to people, but it sounds like to me his mind was made up right from the get-go. But we'll look at this. We could, we could have just reloaded and gone at it and made the playoffs once every four years, which is exactly what they were doing before this was shake up. If lucky, get by a first, get, get, a, get by a first round, but most times get beat out, which is exactly what the Coyotes were doing. We had the conversation. We want to be great here. We want to take the chance and be great. And the only way you can do this is through the draft. Armstrong's philosophy is that the only way they are going to do this is through the draft. Armstrong dutifully went through some of the most successful rebuilds. Yes, Stamkos and Tampa Bay. They didn't talk about tank, though. And this is a lot of the things that I wanted to talk about, how transparent he is being in his language here. He is not for a second saying other than we realize we're going to, we're losing, we're tanking. He's just not using the word, but he's, he is using language that is describes it perfectly. And I haven't heard managers, they usually skirt around this or try to act like it's not there or say, even as far as we're trying to make the playoffs, we're always trying to make the playoffs. I've heard that from like Chicago 
If you look at Chicago, Chicago was rebuilding before they told anybody they were rebuilding, and then all of a sudden they trade Crawford, and they come out and say they're doing a rebuild. So they were, like, sketchy about it, right? Uh, St. Louis Blues, Eric Johnson, okay. But Peter Angelos, nailed, got that. Ovechkin, uh, Backstrom, Sidney Malkin, yeah. Like, look at these guys they got through being bad. <laughs> That's all they got them. He's saying, like, we got to be bad. We got to tank. As he does this, you're not going to be great unless you go through the draft. He reiterates it again. We made that decision last summer that we're going to do it through the draft. And we aren't going to sit in a, sit on the fence. We're going to go all the way in. So he points out teams that got players, Pittsburgh, completely by tanking. However, none of those teams made it, which I don't believe were as transparent as this, as they talked about, as they did what they did. Like, he's just flat out coming out and saying it. And uh, we're going to go all the way in. So... We're going to tank. Tank, 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 tank. Somewhere in Buffalo, one of the most passionate fan bases in hockey just rolled their eyes. Yeah, Buffalo says, yeah, okay, it didn't work for us. Why didn't it work for us? Why didn't it work for Buffalo? Detroit's taken a while, but I think they'll still be okay. But why didn't they do it? Why didn't it work in Buffalo? Uh, because, well, one thing, I don't think they did it the way they're planning on doing it here. They want to build a base and uh, a family and help their players out as they do it. Where in Buffalo, they didn't say they were tanking. In fact, they were very mum about it, although it was very obvious. It was still hidden in a way. And when this is very uncomfortable for players because they all know they are. But they're getting mixed, somewhat mixed messages, and they got to deal with the media every day. So they got to lie. They, they got to say, well, you know, we're trying to win and blah, 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 blah. But in their heart, they're like, this is stupid. Everybody knows we are. I hate standing here saying something that's not there. Here, they don't have to do that. Here, they can basically say, yeah, we know there's going to be a lot of losing. Uh, we're trying to win every day, but we're giving our best effort and all that kind of stuff like that. It's a much easier environment to build with. So then they go on, he goes on to say, Armstrong, we've tried to do it with Andrew Ladd, Louis Erickson, Anton Strollman, and Antoine Roussel. What did they try to do? They brought in veterans. That, but here's what I like he says about it. Um, they're, pretty good they're pretty good quality people. Uh, Louis Erickson, to, I don't know if that's the veteran you want to be. But anyways, that's just me. Uh, Come here and make a statement to work their asses off no matter if we lose or if we win. They're bringing their professionalism to the rink every day to help our core. So here he is. He's not even calling them the core. He's bringing them in to help the core. What are the core? The idea is to make sure the losing itself doesn't crush the development of the core. Then he mentions them. Chickering, Schmaltz, Clayton Keller, Lawson Krauss, Barrett Hayton. Young players. Also, he mentions that there will be losing. He's flat out saying there will be losing. It's. I think that makes it so much easier. And he's giving these guys confidence that they can stay here and be part of the process. And when these guys get to talk to the media, they don't have to skirt around what's going on. They know it's a build tank. This year is about being competitive and working hard and creating a new culture with new coaches, culture, very important. But at the same time, we've made a choice to look through the draft and take a chance to become a great organization. But make no mistake, it's hard in the moment. This is a long road ahead with no guarantees at the end of it. Most honest article thing I've heard from a general manager in a rebuild retool, blah, 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 blah. No, we're doing a scorched down rebuild tank here. And you can put it in the title because that's what we're doing. Uh, they sold off Ekman Larson, Connor Garland, Darcy Kemper, Aiden Hill, Christian Dvorak. Why play around? You know, tell me what you think. I, I happen to agree with Armstrong 
there is a point when you're just a middling team and you got to do it, right? Kudos to the uh, Arizona Coyotes ownership who is losing money right now. And sorry, let's hi. Uh, is losing money right now and continuing to lose money. They should be champion for what they're doing because it's a difficult market to do this in. But you have other markets out there that possibly could be on the cusp of this sort of thing. Boston Bruins, I think, are getting pretty long in the tooth. The Washington Capitals, do you like what they're doing? Would you rather see them rebuild everything just like this and be honest about it? Do you agree that the honesty is the best policy when you're doing this and just come right out and say, we're tanking, we're doing it. That's what we're doing right now. We're not calling it anything else. If we lose, we lose. But we want to do it through the draft. Also, here's one for you. And I think it's possible. Is it possible that you don't have to do it through the draft? Is there, uh, the Pittsburgh Penguins are heading that direction right now. What about the Pittsburgh Penguins? Do they want to do a teardown? And I'm going to bring it, I'm going to hand this out to a lot of teams in the uh, chat that, uh, in Facebook and stuff like that and ask them what they think about uh, in fact let's take a look at it here let's take a look at it here let's look at some teams that may be going through this tank process Right here. Okay? And tell me what you think. Do you want your team to tank or not? You got the Boston Bruins. Bergeron and all those guys are getting really long in the tooth. And it looks like they're grasping at straws to try to win with them before they get too old. Do you think that's a good idea or should they just burn it down? Should it just burn it down like Arizona has right now? The Chicago Blackhawks have been holding on to their old players for a long time. It's difficult to trade them because there are no movement clauses. But, again, they weren't transparent, really, as far as I was concerned about it. Do you think that hurt them? I think it's quite possible that it did. Tell me what you think in the comments section. Columbus Blue Jackets, I think they've been more transparent than anything right now. Uh, they're not coming right out and saying it, but they traded Panarin. They, traded, they did all those moves trying to do a rebuild, but it seems to me that they're not talking about it so clearly. They're, I, I, I'm not so sure this is a burn down. Do you think they should even sell more off and go right down to the ground and get these first round picks early? Or do you think that they should just add with the core that they have and move up? The Detroit Red Wings have been rebuilding for a while now. Um, this was a burn down, tear it down rebuild that's been taking a long time. However, I don't hear Stevie Eisenman really talking about it in the same transparency as um, Bill Armstrong. Do you think so? Do you think that was? The Edmonton Oilers went through 10 years of drafting to get to where they are now, and I still don't know if they're a contender. And I can tell you, being in Edmonton, they weren't as transparent as this. I think the more transparent you are, the better it is. Uh, the Los Angeles Kings, they were fairly transparent in what they were doing, but they said it was going to be a quick. They used the word retool a lot. and. Um, they're right on the cusp right now. This may be more the most successful retool. We will see how it works out, but it might be the most successful retail tool that we've ever that we have seen in a while. And then I want to get, of course, the Pittsburgh Penguins, and I'll put this out to people. What do you guys think they should do? Trade Melkin, trade Latang, trade all these guys, burn it down right now. Or just keep on holding on and adding and adding, and then when you got it, you got it. Which way do you think you should do it here? Um, I, I find the Pittsburgh Penguins probably the most interesting one in the bunch there. So those are a couple teams. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think about tanking, rebuilding, all of that. And I am going to have some more of this fine programming later on. But until then, come see me on my show from 3 to 5. We can talk about it there again weekdays at the NHL Pearl of Wisdom show. Have a great day, everybody. Lots of love to you. Okay, bye.